Is there anything else that you would like to talk about about this topic? You've had so many thoughts on this that I didn't even think to ask questions about that have just been so insightful. And, um, you know, I feel like I've learned a lot from you today. <laughs> well, good, good. Yeah, it's a dangerous thing to ask me if I have other thoughts uh, because uh, <laughs> you doctors, we all run behind in clinic and everything. But most of the time when I'm behind, I have to just apologize and take it on the chin and say, listen, sometimes I talk too much <laughs> um, because I want people to understand what's going on with them because I think they make better decisions when mm -hmm. they do that, you know? Absolutely. Uh, and so understanding what's going on, even, even in cases where we can't do that much about it, understanding it helps with acceptance of it. You don't have to know how cancer spreads to get treatment for it. Mm -hmm. But I think it helps to understand why we're talking about your neck when it's your your gland, your thyroid gland. It's good to know why RFA wouldn't be appropriate for some, mm -hmm. but appropriate for others. And so, gosh, your neighbor had a thing pop up and you went and saw Dr. Forwith and gosh, he just took care of it in the office. And now he's telling you that you need some long surgery. I just want what my neighbor had because she said it was easy. And so, you know, it's important to understand where we are on the spectrum of things and, and what the options are. And sometimes, by the way, even with all the best knowledge that we have, it's not right. So I had a patient, we just did that big neck dissection on, we just did it last month. Her entire neck had to be cleaned out, 24 mm -hmm. nodes um, oh, of, of cancer. I took out her small papillary thyroid cancer in 2016. Mm. this didn't show up yeah until years later yeah um and and then she she had a baby so that delayed us by uh, a little over yeah. nine months and um that sort of thing but we, we did a fine operation on her back back in 2016 but then this slowly showed up over the years and clearly it had spread out of the thyroid um before we ever got it out of there and it showed up years later. So we know it's really slow growing. So mm -hmm. that's good. Um, but hers wasn't very big. Mm. Wasn't very big at all. She had two spots and one of them was one centimeter. One was just a little smaller than that. You know, everybody's a little bit different. It's important that even if you get RFA and even if it's effective, um, that you continue to get your follow-ups to make Absolutely. sure that that you didn't have some of that microscopic spread that shows up later because we can treat that by the way it may take a bit uh, mm -hmm. but we can still treat um, and so this can still be a non-threatening cancer except the patient i just mentioned this shouldn't take her life at all she should be That's just right. fine going forward yeah but she needed a big operation unfortunately so i have a scenario that i want to throw out there what about if a patient has a small thyroid cancer treated with rfa and they do well for a period of time, and then they have another small cancer appear. Is that, well, I have multiple questions here. Is that a situation where you could potentially do RFA on that cancer? Or is that a situation where you say, oh, we didn't get it all, this is microscopic, this is the product of microscopic spread, and we need to do surgery? Yeah, that's a great question. Now, we know that papillary cancer in particular can be multifocal. In other words, show up in two spots that aren't even connected, but within the thyroid. You could definitely do an RFA on that other spot. And in the situation you described, it probably wasn't that we didn't get it. It's okay. probably that it was multifocal to begin with, but it was too small in that other spot to see. So you could definitely treat that other spot with RFA. Now, does multifocal mean that it spreads into the neck? It actually doesn't. You can certainly have multifocal cancer and spread into the neck, but it's not, a, it doesn't always go together. In the scenario you described where you had one and then a couple of years later, another spot showed up, sure, you might RFA. To alter your scenario where I wouldn't do RFA, let's say you do RFA on one and two months later, there's another spot. Okay, well, that spot wasn't there two months ago. This is really a fast growing. Yeah sort of thing, maybe we need to alter our plan and get rid of the whole thyroid because mm -hmm. that would be very fast, Yes. right? Um, so if it took two years to show up, okay, that was a slow growing spot. Maybe we mm -hmm. can RFA that and still do very active surveillance 
after that treatment, 